got to immigration um, and check-in. A few suggestions that I might have are come early. Since it's an international travel, there's many procedures. Um, and if you're traveling on a connecting flight, they'll have to verify like the COVID guidelines of respective countries, so that will take long. The questions that I was asked are, um, uh, what am I doing? So my, I'm a student. Besides that, I also showed my student ID. So we'll keep that in hand. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I'm here at my gate. The immigration at Pearson Airport was smooth and straightforward for me. The documents that I needed to show were my passport, the arrive can receipt, the hotel that I will be quarantining at for three days, my negative COVID test, the one that I took before travel, and the declaration form that I filled out on the flight. But it's important to remember that this is how it was for me. I'm a second year international student who's already been to Canada. I think this might vary from students uh, the process might take longer if uh, you are a first year student. So it's important to have your documents ready. So after the COVID testing at the airport, this was also given to me. And this is for the testing on the 10th day of quarantine. My favorite part about this travel was that there were a lot of people at all the airports that I was at to help me in if I had any questions, if I was uncertain about something. The process of immigration at both Chennai Airport and Pearson Airport was smooth for me because I, ha I was prepared with the documents that were needed. My least favorite part about this travel, of course, is the 15-hour direct flight from India was exhausting and uncomfortable. But besides that, it was fun. I I'm happy to be home. So, food for me during my hotel stay has been no contact pickup. It's usually left outside my door. Like this. And I've had the option to pick which meal I prefer. This form is usually put under the door um, on the day before and I fill it out and slide it back out. Since I have completed my hotel quarantine and I have a negative result from the test taken at the airport, I will now be going to London on Robert Q to finish the rest of my quarantine. So I am completing my quarantine in London at Delta Armories and this is what I got from here on. International students who will be coming uh, we'll also be getting the same package. Um, so this one includes some cool Huron merch and this one includes a lot of treats and puzzles and books that will keep you entertained and happy uh, throughout your quarantine. On my fifth day of quarantine, I was called by the government of Canada and I was asked about my quarantine measures, where I was staying, how I get my groceries, what is my ID and so on. And I was also informed that a screening officer might drop by and check to ensure that I was following all the rules and regulations. Two days later, I was visited uh, at my hotel by a screening officer who asked similar questions as I was asked on the phone call. And uh, I was also asked if I spend some time out in the corridor, if I have any questions for them and so on. It's day 10 and I will be getting tested. On my 10th day of quarantine, I got tested. My advice would be to log on 
to the website early because I had to wait for a couple of hours to get tested. After getting tested, I was asked to store this in the fridge on this and it will be picked up. Those are all the procedures and I will be getting a call about my final test result. I am in London and at Huron. I hope this vlog really helped you please reach out if you want to know more about my experience and please get in touch with Nicole Christoph from International Student Engagement she has been a great support for me throughout this entire process